Welcome back to Kin in Line. This is part 76 by my reckoning. Um, we start off from 1983. No? Oh. Seems like 83, but can't be because I wasn't in Port Elizabeth yet. So anyway, this is uh, a sort of a cartoon caricature thing I did of Adrian Gardner, who was who established the Shamwari Game Reserve and the Mantis Group, so a really prominent international businessman, um, and he had a relative worked with us on the staff of the Evening Post, who asked me to do a drawing which the original was then framed and given to him for a birthday. Um, that looks like it was signed in 1983, but I find that hard to believe. Anyway, he seemed to have been a yachtsman as well, and we've incorporated a yacht called Kulan Deer or something. Um, with his glasses, and clearly that's Elgoa Bay in the distance. Those waves that I've sketched so often in the past. Anyway, for what it was worth, I don't think it's a bad little effort. I probably made a bit of money out of it. Um, just before I got to Port Elizabeth, though, when I was just out of the army, I found these cartoons that I did. So I was biding my time before getting, doing some actual work. So this is July 29, 1981. And obviously, everybody watched the wedding of Princess of um, Prince Charles and Diana, and her train that was like a million miles long. I've depicted here with all the toffs in attendance, and I'm wondering what I said. Lady Di must have put in a lot of training to cover the length of St Paul's training. Yeah, anyway, not a great piece of humour, but I quite like the drawing. I've done another one here of them. So, what are they saying? Darling, please, it's no time to bite the royal nails. <laughs> yeah, given what happened to Diana, I'm surprised that isn't her actually filling her face with cake. Apparently she did. Notice of you left the um, pencil underdrawing for this thing. Hmm. And then I did one here with apartheid as the feature. Also, 29th of July, one group, one bridge. So this was Dr. Pit Kuernhoff, who was at the time the Minister of, I think they called it Cooperation and Development, the Orwellian term for uh, getting black people to do what they were ordered to do. So here we've got bridges galore, the Black Bridge, Lots of people, white bridge, one at one person. And that's Gurnoff himself. What is this one? Colored bridge. Probably an Indian bridge. It was all about the duplication of everything to you know, this was total waste of of resources. Instead of just making what was required, you had to double up on everything. So he has a painting I hadn't spotted in Yonks. I can't even place where it is, but there are three palm trees. Kind of looks like an airport terminus on the left there. But quite a nice technique, I have to say. Might have been done, no, no idea where.
Actually, there isn't another one inside. Yeah. And uh, I've uncovered a couple more of my, probably from the same era, the early 80s. And this seems to be a holy man praying above a wall. This was not Trump's wall. This was the wall of apartheid segregation. And I guess the prayer was that that wall would come tumbling down. And there's intrigue in this thing. So we seem to have a character who looks a bit like Forster, the Prime Minister in the 70s. And this black guy is possibly a, a politician. And anyway, there's the mansion on the hill with serious security and down below is squatter camps and yeah so i have no idea what i was trying to say here but clearly the division between the wealthy with their posh cars but uh, anyway there could have been a story in here somewhere Is this date visible? Nineteen eighty one CKB, that's me. So quite often I would not I hated signing them, but sometimes I would sign them and then I'd regret it afterwards. So that's why I've kind of scratched out where I've signed this thing. That's quite an interesting abstract using watercolors and ink i think no just bold watercolors similarly with this one there's a kind of fish-like presence there so we could be under the ocean here This is like a wild animal. It's weird how these ideas came to me. I think Kandinsky is to blame. He sort of, I think, was the first person to really liberate artists from this whole issue of being representational. You know, so long as, well, I enjoy the fact that there are always faces in, in my things, but also probably from the era of the army or just afterwards. going on between those stubbed little fingers. Quite a nice composition, this. A lot of detail. I like this face. And then another wacky creature with the most outrageous legs. Look at that hand. And uh, and uh, And more wild and wacky images. 
here I've signed it Kin Nick and try to paint it out and it still jars for me I have to work on that eradicate the signature or just I should have just made it a lot smaller anyway this was a parrot or something uh, we saw this earlier that that was me with a silly moustache courtesy of the army There's more at the door. There's more at the door. Yeah. Your average pet dog, I suppose. Not sure what species this is. It's a really, really cuddly creature. No. Another poorly signed imagination piece. This one always disturbed me. Um, yeah. With these faces, humans. Rather phallic shapes in places. And there's definitely a Roman feel to this. Looks like he's on the edge of a cliff, his big head just hanging there. Storm clouds. Really bizarre. And a couple of dark sort of Landscapes, abstract landscapes, with a lot of, looks like you're in a house down the corner there. I always associate these hills, I'm afraid, with breasts. Just where the mind was at, I guess. I have to say that the pictures look far more interesting through the camera than they do in real life. They just don't, aren't nearly as bright in reality, which is a shame. Crazy man. So my, I've signed these things K-I-N-N-I-K and so a friend of mine used to make fun of my name and say that my nickname was Nick N-I-K also from Monty Python's Knights of Nick so I became Kinnick or Micon or Nictitating Membrane maybe this is quite a weird thing. And I did spend a night in prison for my activism. That was a whole other story, which I won't go into now. Those kind of look like prison bars having a face that could be out of Orwell's 1984. This one always I associate with the apartheid uh, assassinations of the mid-80s. Um, so when I got to PE, they murdered the Craddock Four and the PEPCO, the PE Black Civic Organization Three, all in 85, as I recall. Uh, people just disappeared and their bodies were later found. I think that might be it for now. Um, 
Not sure what's in this room, Dick. That is a little bit of something. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to worry. So we'll leave it with this. Not too uplifting drawing of a man, probably the subject of the state terror. Anyway, cheers for now.